Okay, this section is on quadratic functions in their graphs. And quadratic functions are pretty easy to graph, especially if you make a chart. So let's just make an xy chart. And again, to make the chart, you pick values of x and figure out what the y is based on plugging in the x. I like to start with 0 in the middle. When I let x be 0, I'm doing y equals 0 squared. What do I get? 0. Let's try 1. What happens when I put a 1 in there? 1 squared, 1. What about a 2? Two? 2 squared, 4. Oh, finally, I got a different number. Seems like I was always getting the number I started with. Should I do one more? Let's do some going the other way. Minus 1. It's minus 1 squared. 1. Minus 2. Minus 2 squared. 4. What do you think if I did minus 3? 9. And again down here if I did positive 3. All right, let's plot those points. 0, 0. Right there. Again, this is my x-axis. This is my y-axis. Let's plot 1, 1. Over 1, up 1. Okay. Over 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, up 1. Negative 2, up 4. Negative 3, up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I did positive 3, I'd go up 9 again. This curve of the quadratic function that I just graphed, plotted the points, that's a parabola. Okay? Now, what do you think would happen if I plotted y equals negative x squared? Well, it would be y equals a negative, then I'd have something squared. Let's make an xy chart for that one. Be careful. All right, again, let's do 0 in the middle. 0 squared is still 0, and negative 0 is 0. All right, minus 1. Minus 1 squared is 1, but then I subtract it, so minus 1. Hmm, minus 2. Minus 2 squared is 4. The opposite of 4 is minus 4. Hmm, I'm getting different values. Let's try over here. 1. 1 squared is 1, and then I subtract it. Minus 1. 2 squared is 4. Minus 4. Oh, what's that going to look like? 0, 0 is the same. Over 1, down 1. Over 2, down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Over minus 1, down 1. Minus 2, down negative 4. Minus 3 would probably be down 9. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's go over here. I have a parabola going the other way. It's an inter interesting thing to remember. y equals x squared is a parabola. I like to think of it as a goblet that holds water. y equals negative x squared, upside down. Goblet does not hold water. If there's a positive in front of the x squared, there are always going to be parabolas that hold water. Now, you might want to try and graph what happens if you put something like a number 3 in front of that. What would happen to all of these numbers? They'd all be multiplied by 3. So this would be 27, this would be 12, this would be 3. What's 0 times 3? Still 0, 3, 12. So, if I multiply by 3, what does that curve look like? At 0, 0 is still the same. But at 1, instead of going up 1, I'm going to go up 3. 1, 2, 3. So you see that it's going to be inside. At 2, I'm going to go up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to get a much steeper curve. What if I had a bigger number there? Skinnier still. So your homework is going to be to graph some of these quadratics. 
Um, and you'll get some that are positive that hold water and some that do not. Now you're going to be asked to graph some quadratics that vary from the one we just did a little bit, having numbers here, here, and here. It's important stuff about those numbers. This number A could be a 3, a 5, a negative 2, whatever it is. If A is positive, the curve is going to look like this. I talked about that a little bit before. If A is negative, it's going to look like this upside down parabola. Now, the K and the H, in this order, H, K, just like X, Y, the H is with the X, keep that in mind, this is what's called the vertex. The vertex, the turning point of the parabola, the lowest point or the highest point. So the H, K is the vertex. So you're going to get some equations that look like this. y plus 6 equals 2 times x plus 1 squared. So in this parabola, the vertex is, do you know what it is? Take a guess. Negative 1, negative 6. So if I plot over here, negative 1 down 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there, that's my vertex. The parabola goes through that point. Now, do I know whether this parabola is going to be a hold water or not hold water? How do I know? I look at that 2. Is the 2 positive or negative? Positive, so it's going to hold water. Now, I can't just sketch it in too quick. I need some values. So since I know the x, y of the vertex is negative 1, negative 6, I should pick a number on each side of it to get a good sketch. So let's pick negative 2. What happens when I put x as negative 2? Negative 2 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract 6, so 2 take away 6, negative 4. So at negative 2, I go down 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, is that making sense with what I thought? Is it going to hold water? Looks like it is. Let's try one point to the other side. So let's go 0. What happens when I put 0 in for x? 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So if y plus 6 equals 2, what does y equal? Negative 4. All right, so at 1, I'm down to 4. So it looks like I'm going to have a parabola that holds water, right? Whoops, did I plot that right? I did not at the 0. I knew it looked a little off balance here at the 0. Okay. Carefully plotting. Um, and I could plot some more values if I wanted to get a better sketch. So remember that the vertex is the HK. So look for these values. Now notice those were pluses and these are minus. Let me do one more. Suppose, let's erase that too. Suppose I gave you this equation here. Y e y minus 5 equals negative x plus 2 squared. All right, what's the vertex? It's an ordered pair. Negative 2, 5. Use the opposite signs. Now, does this parabola hold water or not hold water? What is the A? Positive or negative? It's negative. Once I do the vertex, I put a sketch as what it's supposed to look like. All right, if I go negative 2 up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's my vertex. 
and it better look like this. So let's try some values. So let's try 0. What happens when I put 0 in for x? 2 squared is 4, so that's minus 4. y minus 5 equals minus 4. Add 5, I get 1. So at 0, I go up 1. Okay. Since I went from negative 2 to 0, I went 2 places that way. If I go 2 places this way, so negative 2, negative 3, if I go to negative 4, you know what I'm going to get? 1. I don't even have to plug it in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 1. We could just to check. Negative 4 plus 2, negative 2. Negative 2 squared, 4. Minus in front of it, minus 4. Same thing. So now I can sketch in this parabola. And that one does not hold water, because the A was a negative. 